Web 2.0 Summit is right around the corner, and that got me thinking about a post um, that was done by O'Reilly in 2005 called What is Web 2.0? And it talks about, in the 90s, it was all about publishing, and it was all about advertising, just really pushing the consumer to buy something. And today, it's, you know, about participation, communication, and really building out a community. Right. Yeah, when the web first um, became popular around 1995, a lot of the big sites that came out were actually more based on traditional media. Like, for instance, uh, Yahoo is the big search directory. Um, and basically, Yahoo mimics the yellow pages, ye in the white pages. Basically, it's a categorically organized uh, way to for people to find information. But Google actually took that to the next level, where they had more of a user-based um, and community-based, you know, basically the web is their community, uh, search engine that basically took the user's input for what they were specifically looking for and drilled down into, you know, more relevant articles, um, websites, blog posts, all the type of thing that really, really just gave the user um, better results as far as, you know, what they were looking for on the web. Definitely. I think Amazon is also like a golden child of really harnessing the science of user engagement. Because if you look at Barnes & Noble, they still have that, you know, type of catalog, traditional style website where they're, you know, just pushing books at you. Versus somebody like Amazon who's using a user-centric design, who's using its business intelligence and really pushing out, you know, user reviews, using the star system to really, you know, categorize it by the user so that it's a lot easier to get that data for them. Right. These communities bring a lot more value to their products because these are, you know, buyers who are actually bringing... Um, you know, are actually giving credibility to these products because they're the ones who purchase them. So, you know, in essence, it's actually helping other people, you know, make that better, edu more educated uh, purchase and decision. So, um, yeah, I mean, in essence, the community is really bringing uh, together a lot more value for the Internet. And that's what was kind of this inception of the Web 2.0 was this, this bringing of, of the users together to, to create... Um, not only, you know, a better website, but just better websites in general. Like, for instance, open source um, is a huge community-based um, way of creating software. So essentially everyone on the Internet, you know, needs, you know, needs a website in order, a platform to speak, to run their business, um, all those kinds of things. So, for instance, um, you know, content management systems are, are huge now. Um, and a lot of open source platforms like Drupal, uh, WordPress is a blog platform, uh, you know, things like Joomla, stuff like that are all open source, um, community-built software that is, you know, offered for free. Yeah, I think definitely the, the model of this community is taking over. I mean, you can see it in Facebook, you can see it in Twitter. You know, it's just so much easier for any user just to get on and really, you know, become part of this community. Absolutely. I mean, the, the, but the, the reason it's really such a popular thing with Facebook and Twitter is just the, the ease of the interface. You know, it's like this, it's, everyone can really grasp what what is you know for Twitter especially it's like it's it's just communication and 140 characters you know that's it right that's I remember do you remember bulletin boards back back in you know just a few years ago um, right. I think the problem with that was it was just really difficult to navigate through and you know it was just not very engaging mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and Facebook you know Facebook kind of takes that whole community of friends like um, to the next level where you can actually post links like you could on a bulletin board you can post images that sort of thing but it's it's brought together more in a, in this user friendly fashion this, this simplistic way that you know that really leverages you know ajax technologies for instance it really it, it really gives you this ability to you know when you put a post up instead of the page refreshing uh, your post goes directly into the form you know it actually you know slides in it's really smooth really appealing to the users who use it you know rather than this kind of clunky old school way of doing it you know with the bulletin boards right i think definitely giving a richer experience has been what has pushed all these platforms forward and, and you know coming as a developer you can probably talk about a little bit of using that Ajax, using that Flash, using all these like rich applications to really move it forward. Yeah, it's just making things more seamless for people, you know, it's making making uh, just using a website much simpler, you know, there's a, you know, there's a lot of, there's, uh, you know, we're going to go into more posts later about, you know, exactly what examples, you know, of, you know, Ajax are out there, our own creations too on our site too, right. so that's something that we're going to definitely delve deeper into, but overall, as far as Web 2.0 is concerned, I mean, definitely, you know, people are, these communities of, you know, people from all walks of life, whether it's the technical side or your mom and pop who barely use the computer, you know, they really are being brought into this community by really simplification of inter interfaces and really just making it easy for people to, to communicate through the web. Definitely. I would suggest if you haven't read this post, 
I mean, even if it was from 2005, just really read it one more time, catch up on all the trends that he talked about, and kind of see if it's applicable to your own business. Not everybody could be this whole Web 2.0, but everybody can take little elements and really incorporate how they can make their users first. Mm -hmm. And so with that, where do you think Web 3.0 is going? 3.0, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. There's been a lot of speculation. That a lot of people say artificial intelligence is kind right. of where it's going to go, you know, code, writing code. But I don't know. I'm not really sure that's going to happen. I think that's there's so many different ideas are out there, and there's so many different... You know, everything's so dynamic, you know, I mean, something happens and that affects, you know, a different, you know, the path of how the Internet's going to grow. So I, I don't think code is really going to be smart enough to, to be able to adapt, like, you know, the world adapts. So in my opinion, I think it's going to continue to go along this whole community-based trend, you know, all about the users. Hopefully people start paying more attention to their users. Um, right. And, yeah, I, I think, you know, I, I, artificial intelligence is the, what everyone's talking about, but I don't think that's where it's going to go. Well, that's your opinion, Scott. So what's your opinion? What do you think about the next generation of web communication? Um, if you want to give us some replies, just um, hit us up on Twitter at user first. And that closes out today's session. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah.